if if you if you you look at that, and then you look at uh, Hyde, who's been just those two have been extremely hot for them lately. I thought we did a pretty good job on them. I mean, you know, Siebert, we knew she could shoot it. We watched enough film with her draining threes on us in the first match, and that's what we really wanted to do is make her, you know, contest that and put it on the ground a little bit more. And then Hyde walked away with 15, but I'm going to tell you what, I, I thought that young lady worked her tail off for all of those. I mean, I, I, she's a very nice player. I thought she worked her tail off. And, you know, just give credit to our team that we stepped up defensively late when we really needed to. And can you talk about the defense? Because, I mean, even the fastest they're making, I mean, there were some awkward looking shots they just happened to have falling in. I mean, it wasn't any defensive breakdown so far. Well, you know, my, and my assistant coaches, they, they do a lot of the scouting, and we come up with a game plan. And I got to give them a lot of credit because, you know, we're tweaking what we do defensively based on our opponents. And, and with the short time between the first time we saw them and now, Everything's real fresh, so we wanted to mix some things up a little bit. And, and I thought our players do a great job paying attention to the scout and especially to the detail part of it because that's that's the thing that as the game goes, sometimes players lose that little bit of focus. And I think our team's doing a great job keeping that focus. Hey, Coach, can you talk a little bit about Coco stepping up in the second half? I thought Coco did a great job, and we got a little bit stagnant. She, she like, like Raven said, she's a tremendous athlete, and her ability to get to the basket – and then once she gets to the basket, it's kind of fun to watch her. She gets up over people. She makes she makes some plays that are, you know to me are wild plays, like you know you and I wouldn't be able to do, but but she can do. Um, and and she's finishing on the free throw line. You talk about Karen too, uh, you know, in the game. Uh, I think it was uh, 321 left. Um, she got a blocking. She drew back to back blocking fouls, attacking the basket off the offensive rebounds. Can you talk about that? I think that's what we needed. We, when we got a little bit stagnant against their zone, all of a sudden with Coco and with Tierney, we really started attacking gaps a little bit more. And, and Tierney takes it so strong in the basket. Again, you know, I think a great athlete took it to the took it to the basket hard and got herself to the free throw line. I've heard of you that other you know other players stepped up when you know your big fish uh, Red Mary was struggling from the field. For the I think this game was great for us. I think in the in the scheme of the season, especially non conference season. We've talked about this before, how many different looks have come at us. And we have a different thing to tackle tonight. You know, Raven wasn't getting easy touches. They were doing a good job. And the rest of us had to find a way to finish and get to the basket. And I thought we just picked it up on the defensive end enough to get our transition going. Thank you. Thanks. Coach, I have a random question for you. Um, our, we're writing an article.